right guys so we're here tonight and we're looking at a group of these creatures but one in particular is enormous look at these eyes this creature is so huge it's astounding what we see in this footage is a giant hominoid this bone structure coming out this is one eye this is white skin or light gray skin and he's kind of squinting because the sun's coming down on this side you can see there's a little bit of a thing but he's got either hair nasty weeds something hanging you can see the big wide flat sasquatch nose you can even get just a sniffle of uh of that mouth line but as we look at this you're not even going to believe it man look at that look at the creature's eyes opening up where you can see the coloration of the retinas and that huge pupil those things could be as big as basketballs this thing is around 25 feet tall and there it is let's go over it right now on the bigfoot researchers journal So in this part of uh, the clip, we get a really good look at the creature's face in several different aspects, but you can see its eyes there, right there. That's the left eye. And, uh, and we can see it plainly. Now, if you look at it, he's changing colors. And so the camera's having difficulty differentiating, even though it's enormous, his face from the surrounding bush because there's this light glow and it's changing the color of his skin. His skin is actually a light, light gray to a, even a white. And if he stepped out in the sunlight, he would appear as chrome, shining as the sun. What does that sound like? That's interesting, right? This giant thing is so big. Look at, look at how this is like, let me take that off of there and you can see it's like 175 yards, 25 feet tall is what I'm guessing, 23 to 25 feet. But he's in there changing colors. In that particular frame, you can see the hair uh, more exposed to that green glow is greenish, but his skin appears gray. Olive gray, you can see that bone structure in there, that infamous relic hominoid bone structure. Unfortunately, the skull is approximately five feet. You can see the whole skull there. It's about the size of a, a good sized man, you know? A small man, actually. Five feet somewhere in there is what I'm guessing. The thing is immense. You can see his whole head there. The bone structure is obvious. This is an enormous creature. Again, adjusting the contrast, we can uh, we can get maybe hopefully a little bit better look. There you go. We've got that relic hominoid bone structure that really drastic dramatic bone structure if we back out a little bit now we can see right about here is about six feet 12. so in breaking this down um we have to look at every aspect of it and while we're doing that in frame by frame analysis we get some killer frames right here we've got uh, another enormous one and there are other ones around this guy but you can see this giant Buddha-like face in there. That's an enormous Sasquatch. The proportions and the symmetry are correct. That creature is approximately 18 feet tall. I think um, that 
there was no way we thought anything like that was possible in uh, the beginning or at any point. Um, you know, I'm a enthusiast of history, and, and I read a lot and have read a lot and, uh, you know, conducted basically like thorough studies of a couple of different versions of uh, the Old Testament, and that's the only thing, and you don't even really, you can't find anything like that in there. This is... You know, is it unknown? I doubt it. But, you know, they're um, certainly not human. So here's the creature uh, a little bit further back at a different distance. And you can see it's what we say it is. It's 25 feet tall. Look, at you can see the nocturnal eyes here. Inside that huge bone structure, this thing's standing there blinking, looking at me. It's enormous. Right there's the nocturnal eye. You can see the shape of the head there, and its whole face is right there. Uh, it appears that there are other ones there as well, but as we examine these frames, we're, we're clearly staring at a giant. You can see half of his face, like right there. That's half. The other half looks exactly like that, I can assure you, but there's some tree and some other stuff, but uh, let's just back out a little more and, and get a look at how large it is because that's half its face right there. Uh, this is 25 feet, I'm guessing, right in there, 23 to 25 feet. A little bit closer in, you can see he's blinking. Uh, this has got to be a 10,000-pound creature, right? At 25 feet. Uh, the real question is, is this how big they get? And how old is he? 500 years? This thing is large, man. And, uh, and we gotta look for movement. And so here he is right here, and you can see this is the eye area, and he's blinking. I'm slowing it down, and it's basically me moving the cursor between about two to three frames, and he's blinking. So it's really at about 1% speed, but you can see uh, as we do that, you, you can see the thing's eyes are right here, and there's the nocturnal eye thing right there. There's whole head, huge creature in there. Huge creature. So how does this impact the study? Well, um, it doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't change a thing except the bands with which we shoot in front of us. The height of the shooting bands will now uh, not only encompass, uh, you know, what we usually shoot, which is six to twelve feet. It's going to be expanded now, obviously, in certain places. When now that we know, you know, the the what, where, and when of it all, uh, and we even know the why about this, you know. So, I mean, there's not much about this that we haven't locked in. I think, you know, some good zoom lenses will keep us safe. Obviously, I don't even want to think about it, right? Like, I don't even want to hear shit about. Oh, you got to run. You ain't running in on nothing like that. That's not happening. I don't care who you are. You're not convincing anybody you're going to do that. That's, like, ridiculous. So zoom lenses are definitely the tool of choice uh, for this particular study. And uh, we'll try to, I'm going to try to keep it, keep it that way. You know what I'm saying? Um, 25 feet. What does that say about the world we live in? It speaks volumes to the character of those who have come before us, 